your life. What? <laughs> As usual. Hello and welcome all. I might have to, I need a shorter chair. That's okay. We're doing good. I don't know which one. Today we're going to be showing off a uh, hamburger press. Burger slider press. A burger slider press. I don't know. Burgers don't really slide. Oh, stop. Stop. And as a bonus, <laughs> as a bonus, we're going to show you the Pampered Chef scale and we're going to try to figure out together, because I have done no homework, how much meat you need volume wise to make a specific burger, say a quarter pound, third pound, half pound, whatever. So here we have a debugging. Oh, thank you so much. All right, we're gonna power on with our Pampered Chef scale. What do I have to scoop the big? Do you have a big uh, a spoon? Do you want a big spoon or no. do you want the big scooper? Okay. The large scoop? The super duper the scooper scooper. <laughs> when you feel like making some burgers, Grab the super duper scoop 1.94. One point, what? Ounces? Yeah. Ounces. All right. So half pound is eight ounces. So a quarter pound is going to be four ounces. Just over three. Yeah. All right. So the super duper scoop I would say that two scoops would probably be real close to I mean it's 3.5 so do a little half scoops because yeah for a quarter pounder it would be four ounces just four right. ounces yeah. right so I'm 3.5 so maybe two and a 3.84 a little bit more 441 real close yeah so <laughs> so we're That's gonna, our here's our quarter, quarter pounder. pounder here's our quarter pound mixture all right so what do I do with this daggone thing well this great part is your slider, um, if you're going to make sliders, little bitty burgers, that's what you would use there. So you're actually not going to use it. So you put that in here, you put this in, and you turn it to spread the meat out. But didn't I tell you that you <sighs> should spray it first? No, so you should sit. spray it because I am all over the place. <laughs> so just so things don't stick too bad. And yeah, you're a burger hand. I'm not going to do it in your face. <laughs> it did cross my mind, but I am not going to do it in your face. Perfect opportunity to enjoy I... my favorite beer. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at it. It has a dimple. Hmm. It has a dimple already. It has a dimple, everybody. You can maybe see it if I hold it right, but there's a dimple in the middle, and apparently that stops your burger from being around a burger. It's a flat big. All right. Push and turn? Push and, yeah, it says push and turn. And like then, back and forth or all just, the way just around? It's to make it even, so you're just kind of watching to make sure Oh, it kind of levels yeah. out. Oh, yeah. that's kind of cool. Okay, now let's see right. what happens. Now what do I do? You turn it over onto your, I made you, I brought you a mat. Oh, it's silicone on the bottom, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right here? Right? Yeah, I figured you could turn it, you're supposed to just push it out. Mm. Push it out. <laughs> mm. Push it out. So maybe it, oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. So, yeah. This is it perfect? Is it oh. You know? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Just hey. hold it up. It should stick. Don't you, you tell it? me. Okay. Hey, right. that's your very first burger. It's a burger. All burger right. Press, not your first burger. All right. So burgers. what I'm going to try to do is overload these scoops a little bit so that maybe I don't have to do two and a half, four or five. Perfect. Yeah. So you're going to do another. Money. You're doing a third quarter pound? pounders. You just did quarter pounder. <sighs> I would do one of each so we can get a okay. Burger. So 16 ounces to a pound, a third pound is going to be 5.3. Sounds about right. Make one of each and then just make some half pounds. Is what you got right? I'm a mathologist in case any of you guys at home didn't know. <laughs> All my math teacher friends out there. <laughs> He's a mathologist, so just in case you were wondering. <laughs> a 
if any of you kids need help with your mathology, I will help. <laughs> I'm just going to walk away from that. All right. Man, that is so neat. All right, so if I don't mash it in there, then if you just take your thumb and I guess massage all the way around. Oh, I think I need to do more twisting because... It know, didn't hold that one together. It didn't hold and well, did but again, I'm just doing individual scoops and I'm putting it in there. I'm not doing this oh, in you're between. Not, right, right, so maybe that might be... Uh, so maybe if I do that massage the meat. Ugh. This is so hard. <laughs> it's hard to get through without any of the jokes. <laughs> Alright. You're doing good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm. Yeah. It makes a perfectly round burger every time. I'm not, I, the dimple goes down, so I don't know how the dimple looks anymore, but... Alright, yeah. and so maybe half pound burger is eight ounces. These are about two... 2.3, so maybe if I trim yeah. this down a little bit. Just make a couple, and we've got the grill preheating. And if you don't care about your burger size, you can legit just grab a handful of meat, yeah. pop it in there. There's, you know. Yeah. We're yeah. just, we were, we were curious it was brought up the other day, so we figured we would. We would experiment a yeah. eight ounces. There's a half, half pounder. <laughs> oh boy. Just to prove that she can handle anything, put there it through the paces. Go. And you could split that, and you could put stuff in the middle and make a stuffed burger. Pretty darn easy. Stuffed burger. Stuffed the burger. Okay, here we go. Half pound burger. Pressing it out. Do you need more oil, or you feel okay? The dimp yeah. The dimple is the hard part with. Yeah, but I think, and you're squishing up the sides doing that. There. Um, look at that. You just oh. stick your yeah. Nice. <laughs> you could just stick your thumbprint in there. It's pretty slick, man. Well, I wish it was slicker or then this meat would fall out. <laughs> I probably didn't put enough oil on it. Ta-da! Nice. All right. I don't know if you can see here. There we go. The level of the burgers. Yeah. 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 Nice. Awesome. So. Make one more half pound and then we've got four burgers to cook up for dinner. And I've got something fun for you to do while the burgers are cooking. Stop it. And I think we can show the hover feature after the burgers cook to the melt the cheese. The hover. Yeah, don't you think? No, it sounds like Back to the Future. Okay. Uh, another half pounder. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Score. Okay, still January, still double host rewards for, uh, what? It is, but we're near the end of Don't the Don't you shake the head of Well, me. I was going to say. I'm save. trying to fill the air. Yeah, just talk about the burger or the press or something, because if about, I share this elsewhere and it's after January when somebody If it's after that. January 22 and you're watching this video, that does not apply. <laughs> There's my go. disclaimer. There you go. Jeez. I just, I, Jeez. There's a lot of people that watch it after the fact, and I don't want to be confusing, so. That's my job. I know. I know. I'm trying to. <laughs> Those look really good. It's pretty easy. This is what I recommend is doing the. Kind of the massage around The massage, them. because you gotta. Yeah. Gently push it out of there. And it doesn't do it all at once. There's and a I'm, vacuum around the sides. I mean, yeah. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm, I'm sure more oiling would have probably been... More oiling, or my idea is to break the vacuum, there should be like a little valley a little, thingy or oh, something yeah. that you could just... Right, right. Anywho. But still, look at those perfect burgers. Look those at those amazing. perfect burgers. Yeah, so we'll make another... Burger slider later. press. Do you, do you want to use just the rest of that meat? Make one more. It won't up, fit on while we're cooking it, but it's still preheating. Because I up, forgot to push the preheat button. So. What the meat? The meat? The meat? The meat? The meat? The meat? What the meat? The meat? See if I can just do it with gravity. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's a no. That's a big no, Houston. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem.
Right. Pamper chip, we have a burger. So see, somebody could have a, a two. Please, please, just go to your we should home. Have, please. should have oiled it. Please. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming off the edge. Hey, no. Talk about hey, no. All right. All right. I will take those out of your way. I did season the burger, so if you wanted to put more pepper on it, you can, but it probably doesn't need it. So that is almost done heating. Once you get the burgers on, you're going to make some fancy mayo. Do we have a burger setting or um, no? No. I, but I, I gave you the thermometer. We have the thermometer for this. But I haven't taken the time to read how to set it, so I just gave you the manual thermometer. Okay, so wash my hands sure. for me and then I'll finish. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you can't come that way. Oh, careful, don't trip. You're taking me on a trip in May. I'm good. Uh-huh. I didn't realize I was standing in front of the camera. Oh, yeah. Hi. Just a little interlude. Oh, what I could have done is while you were, while you were washing your hands, I could Don't have show them your buns! <laughs> I, I toasted them in the air fryer. <laughs> All, right. All right. Toasted so, buns. Yeah, toasted brioche buns. We went fancy. It's still preheating. It is? Yeah. Yeah, I know. This whole time making burgers, it's been preheating? Are yeah. you sure? Yeah, I forgot to push the button, I'm sure. <laughs> so, yep. Have another Corona, Jim. <laughs> this is my first one. <laughs> right, have another. You're obviously not to the level of operation yet. It's kind of like yeah. pool, where you got to have a few before you can even play yeah. the game. Yeah, I, I thought I had pushed it enough times, and then I realized that it was like waiting, oh. waiting, waiting, waiting. So yeah, so it's still preheating. Um, which is fine, um, cause you're going to have to, when you put your burgers on here, you got to adjust the settings so that it cooks from both sides. So it'll cook fast, which will be nice. What do you love most about the grill and griddle? That I get to eat what comes off of it. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Honestly, the things coming off. And then going into the dishwasher the is place. probably my favorite part. I think so. Because that, that's real nice. That makes for super Most nice. grill and griddles or panini presses that we've had in the past, it's all one deal. Like, you don't get to take it apart to clean it. If you want to clean it, you got to take the whole daggone mess over to the sink. This one, you push a little button, and the whole plate disconnects. And the whole plate, connections and all will go in the dishwasher. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a no-brainer. You know, you take, you disconnect it once it's cooled off and you put it in the dishwasher and you're done. Quick wipe on this thing and it's, it's just so much easier than anything we've ever had before. So that is my favorite grill and griddle feature. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying Obviously to... there are there different plates. These ones are flat. The ones that are in there are, you Wait, know, waffle plate. Waffle. Uh, no, they're court. Those are just lined. Well, that was waffle line, but we also have waffle So yeah, it does lots of things. It's very neat. Yeah, and when it's preheated, and I can just put the burgers on there, it's even a neater demonstration. Yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> yeah, I completely failed. That. We love her anyway. Okay, well, what you can do in the meantime, while you're waiting to do that, is you can assemble your. Um, My? Our. <laughs> <laughs> our immersion blender that you're going to use to make fancy mayo while the burgers cook. Okay, I'm making a big old mess. Okay, you could have made that take a lot longer. Your battery's backwards. Don't you tell me. Okay, so the label on your battery goes forward like the toe of the foot, if this is the foot, and this is the boot, and these are the toesies. The label goes towards the toesies. <laughs> All right. The battery is first to the, no, last to the party, first to leave. The battery is seriously antisocial. And the battery needs to be charged. No, it doesn't. 
That's a new battery. Jennifer. No. When I push this battery on and it shows me one power bar and blinking, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I get you the other battery. It's a good thing it comes with two. Well, get the charger out too. I will. Are you sure this thing is preheating? Honey? Yes, I can see it steaming. It is. Mm -hmm. All right, label towards the toesies. Snaps right on. We're good to go. Oh, look, this one has power. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ed. It's, Yay! Yay! Probably should. That's the new spritzer. Way better than the old one. Why? I don't know. It just is. Tell me why. It doesn't uh, it seem just, to expand and contract as much. It as doesn't happens. expand and contract, and it honestly, it just seems to. I just don't think I'm getting five burgers on there, honey. No, you're not. You're only going to be able to do maybe, maybe four if you space them right. Mm, I'm going to do three. Well, see, here's my other problem is different. Do two at a time. Different. Yeah, do different thicknesses are going to cook different. You got to flop your top so that it doesn't squish them on one side. You have to pop the. You gotta, there you go. That way you can hover. We can do two at a time. It's okay. There we go. Now it's cooking. So for them big half pound burgers, I got it on whatever, three? Yeah. One, two, three. Three. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now I got to push the button again. Yep. Okay. And that starts the counting and then we'll just check when it's done and see what's done. Five it's minutes. Done. You got to talk for five more minutes. No, you're going to make mayonnaise. I'm going to what? You're going to make mayonnaise. So. I'm going to tell you. That's a lot of oil. Can we not use oil? No, you have to use oil. <laughs> That's kind of like what mayonnaise is. is what so, mayonnaise. everybody, here's yeah. what's in mayonnaise. It's mm. olive oil. It's good for you. It's. Yeah, it is. Oil is not good for you. Yeah, a lot of oils are good for you. So, when you're doing this, you're going to let it rest at the bottom first. Why are you and telling me? Or you should tell them. Well, they can see. <laughs> they can so, see the back of because your Because you're the one that's doing it, and you're the one I'm going to yell at. So you're going to hold it here. And Why are you me in preparation? Listen. I don't want preparation. Listen. I don't want to yell at you and have you screwed up. No, stop. You're going to hold it here, and then you're going to slowly raise it as it gets fluffy. I've never used any power tools ever in my entire life. I have no idea what to do. I don't think you're using an immersion blender at the shop. I'm totally immersed in what we're doing, trust me. All right, so listen, you can't just willy-nilly throw stuff in there. You I'm going to Davy Wavy. I don't know who <laughs> Willie is, okay. but I'm going to throw stuff in there the way I want. So, one whole raw egg. Don't just put the whole thing in there, egg shell and all. I will come at you. <laughs> Trying to follow the instructions there, dear. We can't just go all Davy Wavy. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice. You got to squeeze your own lemon there. There is lemon. You got it. I do. Okay. Even with my Moderna arm. <laughs> oh, that's a big lemon. Yeah, it is a big lemon. That was not a tablespoon, that might have been a teaspoon. That's easily a tablespoon. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, shiny. Okay, and you need one teaspoon Dijon mustard. And I gave you that little... One little... Up. How's that? <laughs> really messy! Thank you, Pamper Chip Apron! <laughs> Four napkins. I, you have it on the counter. You have it all over you. 
Rip. Rip. No, here. You can have you're the three need other it. ones. We're going to put it here because you're oh, going to need it. Oh my gosh. Frivolous. Frivolous. Frivolous wasting. Yeah. Save a tree. Save yep. a tree. Right cowboy. All cleaned up. Still have some to go, for the record. Okay, get a pinch of salt. I didn't get it for you. You're going to have to turn around and get a pinch. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have pinched. Now what? Put it in the cup. Okay, put in one cup of vegetable oil or any neutral oil. We're using olive. We could have used coconut. You put the lime in the coconut. Okay. Okay, let the oil float to the top, which it did. Blend on low, keeping the blender stationary until mayonnaise begins to form, about 30 seconds. And actually, we're going to level this up, and we're throwing basil in. There's a safety button right under here to keep people like you from hurting themselves. Stop pushing things. I don't even know how the hell it works this thing. This thing is dumb. That's not a power button. That's a make it go button. This is not happening now, very fast. Up, You're doing it right. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. Don't turn it up. Slowly. Oh, slowly. Why make homemade mayonnaise, Jen? Because you know exactly what's in it. Yeah, oil, and oil, and oil. It's not engine oil. And <laughs> because there's nothing wrong with it. And that. a little bit of egg, and a little bit of, what did you put in there? Basil? Uh, yeah, I put basil in there. So would you like on yeah. your burger blue cheese? Or yes, regular? yes, yes. Would you like yes. bacon? All of it, all of it. Put it all on her. I'm a multi. I'm a cheesy kind of guy. Thank yeah. you. All right. Will you set the hover setting to hover over this and melt that here in just a second? Okay. Now we go, and then we'll make the kids' burgers, but we won't make them wait for that. You didn't lose the cheese. Okay, will you set that to hover over so that it'll melt the cheese? Please? Without touching it? No, I don't want to touch it. That's as high as it goes, honey. Alright. That'll melt down. How does your mayonnaise taste? I don't know. Oh, that's really good. That's impressive. Well done. Oh. We bueno. So, Ooh. why don't you put a little mayonnaise on the bottom of those? Because I don't have a tool. You do now. I don't know if you have mayonnaise on the top. 
melting we'll have our burgers and then we'll put the kids burgers on how's that looking melty melty <laughs> yummy and melty all right so you're done with the mayo so there's actually a lid for this so we can just keep it right in that container and it's good for up to a week what container is that does it come with it the comes fresh, with the uh, flex plus yeah the flex plus yeah because that's a three-part system, but that comes with it. <laughs> it's okay. I always share a picture of the rock when I talk about it. Because <laughs> it kind of goes, you know, hand in hand. A little bit longer, I think. Oh, hence we're here. I just pull it down. All right, so battery. This. This is dishwasher. That seat. goes right in the dishwasher? Yep. Very cool. Yeah, I'm going right in the dishwasher. The you rest had, of it came You out. had to keep pushing it. Did I forget again? Yes. That's what gets me. You always use the grill. I don't I know. I do not. You always buttons. tell me to. I know, but that doesn't mean I manage to hit the buttons. <laughs> Clearly, that's where I fail. It's all gravy. Alright. So. That was the burger slider press, the pepper chef uh, scale, kitchen scale, the grill and grill, the citrus press, the flex plus. Woo! All right, let's let's finish the burger so we can hold the burger. Finish the burger, food. finish the burger. Well, I'm still waiting for it to be hot. <laughs> but we can hear it now. Right. It looks really good and melty. It's getting there. Let's just call it a day, honey. That one's yours. <laughs> kind of figured as much. Okay. A little, right. little warm? Yeah. Well, go ahead and throw the kisses on there. And I got the, kids? the kids? The kids. All right. So, look at it. That's dinner. Dinner. In no time. Dinner in no time. That is a gourmet burger if I have ever seen one. And it didn't cost us $14. Each. <laughs> Each, yeah. Exactly. So thank you guys for watching. Yes, Angie, I've got my Central Park Zoo sweatshirt on. I wear it all the time, actually. We love you. We do. We thank you. Absolutely. Now it's time for beer in the burger. Beer in the burger. All right, maybe I'll make Dave use the, the pineapple wedger in a couple days because the pineapple's not quite ready yet to cut mm -hmm. meat. But I've always wanted to do that. You put the line. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can feel the balance. Oh. Oh. I have, oh. Next time. I'll be ready. Next time. You will see my pineapple prowess. I can be part of the group, I promise. <laughs> It's so hard. <laughs> All right. Have a great night, you guys.